everyone, welcome to the DJ producer class. Um, today we're gonna learn about the how to use the audio effect black in the Alberta Life Night. And I have to teach you guys in English today because we have a new friends from Japan, Yuki. Hi, Yuki. All right, for the audio effect black, okay. Uh, we're gonna try to make um for the DJ set. Before we're gonna start it, I have to explain a little bit about audio effect black, okay. The audio effect like is used uh, to mix uh, your favorite um, audio effects to put it and together and use to control and combine and mix audio effect to play it together. The first step, I'm gonna make the one audio track here and then I'm gonna go to audio effects folder and then audio effect likes here. I'm gonna drag and drop into the audio tracks. And then for now you're gonna see here the audio effect lags. The first button you for uh, on and off, turn on and turn off the lags. And the last button here, the first button, this one, you for open the lags. For now you're gonna see the drop and audio effects here. I'm gonna take the effect that we're gonna use in the uh, DJ set. The first thing I'm gonna put the auto filter and then I'm gonna duplicate it. I have uh, two filters because I'm gonna use one for low path filter. I command R to change the name and LPF to make it like a low path filter. The second one is HPF or high path filter. And I change the frequency and curve here. And then the second one that I'm gonna put on it is the EQA. I'm gonna use this uh, to make it like a DJ mixer, okay? And then <clears throat> the last one I'm gonna put on it is a beat repeat. This is my favorite effects in the Ableton Live. And then I'm gonna close this button for now to hide uh, all the effect here. And then I'm gonna open here this one. This one is what we call the micro knob. The audio effect lag is give us the X virtual knob. You can use all of this knob to control all the effects in the effect lag. Okay? And then I'm gonna change the name here. The micro one I'm gonna change the name to uh, low. The micro two change to mid and high and this one I change to uh, low path filter LPF and this one at HPF high path filter and this one I'm gonna change to pitch and this one is a beat repeat okay and then I'm gonna like click or two finger and we can push the here the color on it too Okay. Choose the your favorite color here. Sometimes the color is uh help a help a what? Okay, you're gonna see these things later. Yeah. Okay. For now, I set the name and the color already. Okay. I'm go back to the lags here. I'm gonna start to set up with the EQ first. Okay. I'm set up the low. Frequency as the 90 and listen as 0 0.25 and uh, for the mid set up to um, 1000 listen to um, 0 0.50 and for the highs um, if frequency it should be 10,000 and listen as 0 0.25 okay for now I set up the EQ already and then I'm gonna go to the row first, and then I'm gonna uh, do the map to the macro knob by light click at game. And here for now, you will see the uh, the names here map too low because uh, we set up the name right. This is that's why it's uh, for now it's very easy to choose it. If you don't make the name first, it should be confused, right? Okay, I choose low. And this one for the gain I should mid and this one gain too high. Okay, 
I'm going back to the... knob. For now, if I twist the knob here, in the micro knob, here, I can control low in the EQA. And also mid and high. Okay, for now, I'm going to set up the knob at the zero decibel. And next, set up the low path filter. For the low path filter, I set up uh, with the frequency. Here, to low path filter. Uh, turn on and off button 2. And then, for high path filter, the frequency. To high path filter. On and off button. And then, uh, everybody remember when we map with the command M right that is good for our map to the controller right but this one we're gonna do the same thing but we didn't do like a command M we're gonna place this key is map when I place this key you're gonna see the here you can set up the minimum and maximum for the effects and this one you will see the color that's why I made the color is easy to see when you set up. Okay, I set up the low path filter frequency first. Okay, um, I think for low pass we don't set it. We set the on and off here. Um, minimum at 6. Okay, for the frequency, yeah. We have to change the... I'm gonna change here to opposite side for the minimum and maximum too. Why I have to do this? Because when I twist knob, I want to twist in the same way like a high path filter here. And then for the high path filter, I choose the map, set up the frequency. Okay, I'm gonna change the maximum to um uh, twelve thousand hertz, and then on and off to minimum to six, and then the last one for the beat repeat. Okay, I'm gonna set up here this one. All right, I'm gonna map the grid to the beat repeat and turn on and off in the same knob and then pitch to pitch, pitch decay to and then set up again. For the pitch decay, I'm gonna set up maximum as 70. Why I set up 70? Because if you set up at the hundreds, when you twist the knob, uh, the sound is gonna be dropped really quickly. It's too quick. The 70 is, I think it should be okay. I think for, uh, and then um, for the grid, the minimum is start to one and half to five, uh, to 56 is too much. We have to start from the low note, right? This one I set up is one and half four, and this one, uh, one and half 64. All right, and on and off to minimum set to six. All right, for now I have the the effect lags. I'm close this, and then I change the name of the lag like a DJ mixer lag, and then I will place this button to save it. When I save it. Okay, I delete it right now because I saved it already. And next time, if you want to use this lag, you just go into the audio effect and then audio effect lags and then open the lags. You will see this one here, the DJ mixer lag. We just made it. And if you want to use, I just drag and drop into the audio effects. And for now, I can use this. And then we don't have to map everything again. Okay, and then okay. For now, you can control the R F X here. All right, this is just a first step. Okay, for the next step, we have a uh, audio effect like to use with the DJ set already, and then we're gonna make the DJ set. Okay, the first step, I'm gonna make the two audio track. The first one I made a Dex A to make like a turntable one, and this one is Dex B to make a turntable B. 
and then put some color on it and then put the audio effect like that we just made it uh, one per each and then okay for now we have a two track to control like a two turntable and the audio effects here and then um, I'm choose the X button here when you choose it you're gonna see the here the cross fade the to cross face deck A to deck B but for now um, the decks is not connected yet we don't know which one is left and which one is right here you will see the A and B and B uh, you for select which one is gonna be the left and which one is gonna be the light deck this one I push the A and this one B okay I select this I can use the crowd fader to crowd face song from decks A to decks B and then if you want to use the sound guard to set up the headphone to, to do the cue point you have to set um, the audio sound guard first just go to preference audio and audio output but for now uh, I didn't connect with uh, any audio controller but I'm gonna uh, select the output configs choose one two stereo and one two mono okay and then I'm um, open the IO IO is mean in and out six now what is mean it mean if I open the IO it's gonna show up the the six now that is coming to the track and the six now does go from that track for now here how to set up the headphone here the QR you're gonna see the one two okay I'm gonna make the QR uh, the Q for one master alpha two that is mean the output two here this one for master out the Q uh, the, here the one is for the Q out if I place the solo here it's gonna change to Q here you will see the solo button is changed to like a headphone for now you can use this one to cue your headphone to listen the song before you're gonna play it alright and then you can map to the any your uh, MIDI controller and then for now if you want to open I, I, want, I want to leave this if I want to set up this one, uh, every time when I open the Ableton Live, I want to use this platform. It's very easy to make it. I just go to Preference, and then go to File and Folder. Here you will see the Save Currencies as Defaults. I place Save, and then if I close it, and I turn on it again save as default is mean every time when I turn on it it's gonna it's gonna show this set that is mean I can um, it's ready to play the DJ okay everything is all set the audio effect lags and the uh, the cues headphone yeah, it's very easy. Okay, I think you guys know uh, many things today to make the audio effect lax and make your uh, DJ style. Okay, the life is able to life can do everything that depends on your idea. Alright, it, it's just a one idea of like many idea. Alright, thank you to listen. And hope you are enjoyed today. Um, we are in EFB's DJ Producer School in Bangkok, Thailand. Sorry, crap.